and welcome to NC Library's tutorial, What are OER and why are they important? As the title of this tutorial suggests, by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to define what OER are and articulate why they are important. Let's begin. So what are OER, you ask? Well, the acronym OER stands for Open Educational Resources. According to UNESCO, open educational resources are teaching, learning, and research materials in any medium, digital or otherwise, that reside in the public domain or have been released under an open license that permits no cost access, use, adaptation, and redistribution by others with no or limited restrictions. So basically, OER are one, material that you use to teach, learn, or conduct research and two, that are free from common copyright restrictions. These materials can be anything from textbooks, lab manuals, videos, slides, lecture notes, to test banks, photographs, journal articles, or learning objects. Really, any material can be an OER so long as it is used for the purposes of teaching, learning, or research, and is free from common copyright restrictions. Being free from common copyright restrictions means that you can do the following things with an OER. You can photocopy or digitize an entire work, not just part of it, and distribute or share it freely with your class. And you can edit or make changes to an entire work without having to seek permission from the publisher. The ability to freely share and adapt OER underscores what make OER so important. OER are important because of the benefits that they provide both to individuals and to society as a whole. These benefits include increased student access, increased student affordability, increased student retention, increased student inclusivity, and increased opportunities for collaboration, creativity, and innovation. Let's take a look at each of these benefits in greater detail. Using OER, which are mainly but not solely internet-based, helps to ensure students have access to their course materials from the very start of class. By providing links to OER or posting OER to your course management system, you are eliminating a variety of barriers that prevent students from starting their courses with access to their course materials. Barriers such as waiting for a backordered book at the bookstore, waiting for financial assistance to become available in order to be able to afford the textbook, waiting for a textbook to be shipped to a student living out of province or internationally, or waiting for a library reserve copy of a textbook, if such a copy exists, to be made available to loan out at the library. One of the most obvious benefits to students is that OER are free, which can have a positive impact on their mental health and academic success, in addition to their bank accounts. The Financial Consumer Agency of Canada recommends students budget at least 1,000 per year for course materials on top of their tuition. These amounts can simply be out of reach for some students. The University of Guelph conducted a study in 2016 that found 57% of undergrads had not purchased a textbook at least once because of the cost. 87% of respondents indicated some level of concern about their decision to not buy the textbook and the impact this would have on their ability to succeed at their studies, with some commenting on the damaging effects of this stress on their mental well-being. Using OER can have a positive impact on student retention. Studies, for example, have identified a correlation between lower dropout rates and the use of OER textbooks. Furthermore, a 2017 survey from BC found that 17% of respondents surveyed have dropped a class in the past due to the cost of the textbook, which indicates that cheaper textbooks are likely to result in more students staying enrolled in their courses. With OER, you can customize resources without having to gain publisher permission to do so. This gives instructors the opportunity to include marginalized voices and different points of view in class material. This makes learning material more applicable to and reflective of the lives of your students, which is likely to help engage your students in the act of learning. The adaptation or creation of OER provide instructors with the opportunity for meaningful collaboration with other teaching professionals in their fields from anywhere in the world. Creating or adapting an OER allows instructors to share their knowledge and build personal and professional networks. OER also gives instructors the chance to express their creativity and to learn new innovative technologies, such as H5P or Pressbooks. To recap, OER are material you use to teach, learn, or conduct research, which are free from common copyright restrictions. 
Being free from common copyright restrictions means that you can make and distribute copies of a work without permission from the copyright holder, as well as make changes to the existing text. Being able to do these things is important because it increases student accessibility and affordability, increases student retention and inclusivity, and provides faculty with opportunities for collaboration, creativity, and innovation. In our next OER tutorial, we will take a closer look at how to find and identify OER so that you can adopt or adapt them for use in your classroom. If you have any comments or questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Our email address is library at niagaracollege.ca.